Hello and welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today my illustration was inspired by Paul David Tripp's devotional book, New Morning Mercies. And today is August 26th. And I mentioned the book and the date just in case you would like to follow along with me as I read the book. Before I even open this devotional, I take some time to pray. Because I know that on my own, I won't be able to understand it the way I should. So I stopped and just started to thank the Lord. And I, stopped. I remember saying, thank you for this chair. And thank you for my home, and for my neighborhood, and for my town and for this part of the world and North America and my country. And thank you for this world and the universe. And I got to the point and it's like, I, I can't imagine the universe. But then this image came to me of God's hands cradling the universe in them. But his hands were so large that the universe became just a mere speck. Today in his devotions, Paul Tripp talks about the fear of the Lord. And my simple explanation of the fear of the Lord is that you are not afraid of the Lord. But when you ask Christ into your life, you get a glimpse of his overwhelming holiness and capacity for love and mercy. And it's greater than anything you can, ima you can imagine. And you begin to understand and have respect and reverence. And Paul Tripp says that when you have the fear of the Lord controlling your heart, it can defeat the fears that we face in this world. And he says, when the fear of God overwhelms and controls your heart, it protects you from the paralyzing, debilitating fear of other things. It's only when God looms hugely larger than anything you could ever face in this fallen world, that your heart is able to experience peace even when you don't understand what is happening. And speaking of things that I don't understand, earlier today, I saw a video of an angry, crazed, insane mob surrounding and intimidating one person. They were crazed, out of control, and full of hate. But this is even worse. They're condoned by hate-filled leaders. I felt so overwhelmed and discouraged. But just when I needed it, this post popped up and it says, if you look at the world, you'll be distressed. If you look within, you'll be depressed. But if you look at Christ, you'll be at rest. And this lady is Corey Ten Boom. Corey Ten Boom and her family were believers. They lived in the Netherlands in the 1940s when the Germans invaded and occupied their country. And soldiers would go from house to house looking for Jews for extermination and for anyone in the resistance or even mentally defective people. They were thrown into death camps or work camps and many starved to death or were eventually exterminated. 
Corey Ten Boon and her family hid some of these people in her home. And they even uh, created a secret room where they could hide up to six people. And they did this for a long time until someone um, turned them in and then they were thrown into a prison camps. And Corey's younger sister eventually died there. But throughout their imprisonment, their faith never wavered. And her sister, before she died, told Corey, there is no pit so deep that God is not deeper still. Corey survived, and after the war, she wrote a book called The Hiding Place. As you can imagine, this book is not about a walk through the wildflowers. It is a difficult book, but it is a book of hope and triumph during one of the most terrible unbelievable, frightening, scary, insane times in recent history. If you've never read a, The Hiding Place by Corey Ten Boom, I would highly recommend that you get a copy. And once you've finished reading it, pass it on to someone else because there is a life-changing message in there that this generation needs to hear. I'm pretty sure that I gave my copy of that book away a long time ago, but it's time for me to read it again. So I am grateful I'm just gonna be able to download it because I need to hear this message again that's talked about in The Hiding Place and that Paul Tripp talked about today. And it is that when we have the fear of the Lord controlling our hearts, it will defeat the fears that we face in this world. So thank you for joining me today at Mimi's Sketchbook. I hope this was an encouragement to you, and I know this lesson sure was an encouragement to me. If it was, could you please share it with someone, maybe give it a thumbs up. And in that way, YouTube will help us to share the good news. So thank you and God bless.